Hi guys, Blackbox here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to intercept and uh, fly in just a normal ILS approach. This is a very basic lesson, so if you already know how to program the autopilot system and uh, fly in ILS, then uh, this video will be pretty boring for you. For everybody else who's new to the Airbus, welcome and uh, let's get started. So at this point we're in a intercept heading towards uh, the ILS beam of uh, runway 08 left in uh, Munich. The FMS has been completely programmed. Now if you look at the FMA indications on the primary flight display you can see the indications speed, altitude and heading. Now, since we have not been cleared for the approach yet, uh, the approach mode isn't armed. Okay, let's take the aircraft out of the flight freeze. Edelweiss 744 cleared for the ILS 08 left. Now that we're cleared, I'm pressing the approach button on the flight control unit. On the FMA, you can see CAT 3 single is being displayed. Now, as a standard procedure, I'm switching on the second autopilot and uh, immediately in the FMA you can see CAT 3 Dual is displayed. This means two autopilots are now active to intercept the ILS and that gives just a bit more redundancy. So I'm starting to configure the aircraft in order to slow down. On the navigation display you can see that we're 2.2 miles left of the center line. The flight control computers are now calculating an intercept point, so even though the localizer bar on the primary flight display isn't moving, the aircraft will start to turn left to intercept the localizer. This is indicated by the lock star indication. There it is, and the aircraft is starting to turn left. And now the localizer indication is moving. Approaching the glide slope, so I'm gonna slow down the aircraft further and selecting flaps 2. And we have glide slope star which means the autopilot has captured the glide slope and will start the descent. Now, at the moment the aircraft would slow down to the F speed. Now, if ATC tells you to fly a certain speed, you just simply pull the speed knob and select the desired speed. At this point, we'll check that we've uh, set the correct go-around attitude. In this case, it's uh, 5,000 feet. Okay, so that about covers it. Now either you would uh, continue flying this uh, ILS approach with the autopilot and do a fully automatic landing, or uh, otherwise if you have uh, visual contact to the runway, or if you want to practice your flying skills, you can disconnect the autopilot um, at any stage now. Thank you very much for watching the video. As always, happy landings and I'll see you in the next one.